Ohanin sends urgent message to Asaido Kubo, a northern leader, begs to forgive Namdekano. For what now? Why are these Igbo leaders frustrating the effort of their friends? I don't understand. And Namdekano has warned that nobody should beg the government for his release anymore. Eh? Why are these old Igbo men? They don't even know they are left from their right. Why are they playing to the gallery? Are you sure who sent them to do this? Eh? Forgiveness of what? What did Nam the Kano do? That what he's saying is not true or what? Because this guy is exactly what he said about the Fulanese, the jihadists and Islamization uh, people that actually happened the whole of uh, Buhari's government. The Yorubas have are now joined, uh, especially on that Tinubu, to propagate the same thing. And the guy is being held against his wish in violation of human rights supported by the Western world. You are begging for forgiveness. The guy has not done anything wrong. Is it or is this playing the full side of the game to get him out first? Or what? I don't understand. And Nam Dekano has said last week or two weeks that nobody should beg for his release anymore. That it, that it's not justifiable. Huh? So why are these Igbo men doing this? Begging Asai Dokubo. So who is Asai Dokubo to be begged for the release of Nam Dekano? How? The top Igbo social social cultural body or Hannes Ndigo has appealed to northern leaders and former militant figure aside Okubo to pardon pro Biafran activist Nam De Kano and collaborate towards his liberation. This plea from Hanese was prompted by Kano's statement vowing never to implore the federal government or President Tinubu for his release. Kano additionally underscored the that beseeching for his freedom would be disrespectful to the cherished memory of Pa Mbazulike Amechi, who passed away in 2022 at the age of 91. Recall that a team of Igbo elders had sought the release of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB leader, following an appeal court directive. Because the court has released this man, that holding him against his wish, and it's a court contempt. It's a contempt of court and contempt of law for holding him. That is the truth. So this 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 um aside the Kubo that is just a tout is what Hanese is begging to release Namdekano. What what it what a disappointment from this old man. However, Hanese holds the belief that ongoing efforts by Northerners and Asai Dokubo are pressuring the federal government to decline the plea for Kano's release. In a communication by Hanese's factional secretary. General Kechuku uh, Isiguzoro, it was affirmed that Kano's declaration was appropriate and that the public should refrain from supplicating for its release. Hmm, can you imagine? Now, Isiguzoro further upheld that the appeal court uh, pronouncement on Kano's release was invaluable and called upon the Supreme Court to schedule a hearing for this government appeal. Uh, contesting its release. Moreover, Hanese urged the federal government to uphold the rule of law and release Kano conditionally, giving his prolonged detention without observance of court directives. Yeah. Now, the communication states Hanese Indigo, the paramount Igbo social cultural organization, is um, thought to have played a vital role in the earlier liberation of Nambe Kano in 2017. The detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. The organization reportedly dispatched a delegation to the northern region and prominent Nigerians to pacify and garner their support for Kano's release. This time, Mohanese Indigo is likely to adopt a similar approach, concentrating on discrete networking with key stakeholders and appealing to those who were aggrieved by Kano's past broadcast. Can you imagine? The organization may also seek aid from affluent Igbo business manganese and the leadership of the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra Masob, who played a significant role in Kano's earlier release in 2017. However, the present circumstances are more complex due to the absence of covert diplomatic endeavors and the necessity to appease certain associates of the government. 
particularly specific mountain leaders and groups, as well as Asaido Kubo, a former militant from the Niger Delta. Can you imagine? It's a let that tell you the truth. This is the higher disappointment. The disruptive seat at home demonstrations have also failed to yield the intended outcome, leading the Igbo community to adjust their tactics in their endeavor to secure Kano's release. Hmm. Forgive Nam the Kano and work for his release or Hanese begs not only that and Asari Dokubo. What a disgrace. I tell you, what a disgrace. And somebody is saying here in the comment section, Manage Kano did not send any of Hanese in the in the Oshi message. Okay? They are working for their own pocket. Exactly. I don't know what is wrong with this group. Did he ask them to do that? Now the Kano has said that nobody should beg for his release anymore. And these people is violating that. They are, I'm sure they are looking for political recognition. And even going as far as begging uh, Asai Dokubo. So who is Asai Dokubo in this matter? Is he a government official? Who is he? Eh? It's just, it's just a mirror that you are begging for. Is he so powerful that he can influence the holding of Nam de Kano? I don't understand. With the all insult that Kobo has raised on the ego, these old old people are going to. Oh, I'm disappointed in these people. I'm telling you, for the first time, I'm feeling highly disappointed on Hanese and Igbo. Whether it is a fashional group or the real Hanese, because I know that there have been contesting between uh, Iwanyangu, the leader of the real Hanese, and Isi Guzoro, the factional leader. You understand? I, the, I, I don't understand why these people should go out of their way to beg Northerners and also to beg Asai Dokobo. In fact, that is the letter of it. Asai Dokobo is going to come out now with a broadcast to further disgrace the Igbos and speak vile of them or guile of them. Eh? Why would this old people not borrow them? The guy has warned you that he's staying there, he's not bothered anymore. You should not be there. The law and the judiciary have, has released him unconditionally. These people are holding him against his wish. Okay? They should seek a judicial redress in this matter. That is what they should do. DSS is what DSS is doing is dictatorial. What the Nigerian government is doing is dictatorial. The judiciary has passed the judgment and never to you know, um, entertain any judicial listening uh, hearing again on Kano's case. So they are holding him against the court directives, and this is contempt of law and contempt of court. It, it, the next thing actually is to sue government for the on the contempt of court. That is it, for contempt of court, because that is exactly what is happening. At the and these old men have gone to bed on behalf of Nandi Kano for their selfish interest. I see. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment on this uh, publication.